Check, check, check. Hope you're getting my sound. I'm gonna play Icarus. Let's see what this is all about. I'm excited. Uh, I'm less excited seeing the character. Not too much noise going on here. That's right. Uh, the color schemes kind of like the, the thumbnail choice for color schemes. <coughs> It's good. It saves me a lot of work. I like that. Uh, sure. Oh, you know, I'm not really into like what my character looks like so much. So. Character name: uh, Dizzle. Let's. <laughs> um, Mr. Fun. Never good when a game freezes. Not very, not reassuring at all. New prospect, join prospect, outpost. New prospect. They're assuming I know what prospect means. I'm assuming it means world. Synonymous world and means new world. Great. Olympus sticks. Uh. Yeah, let's go. This looks, whoa, that's a lot of information to throw me. I have no. <laughs> immediately turned off. That's too much of stuff I don't care about yet. What is? They expect me to get super excited by seeing this, but I'm just overwhelmed. Um, I have no idea what any of this means. Mission select. These are missions. Ugh. Well, hey, early release, right? Okay, there we go. You know what? I have to, like, dig in the middle to find it. It wasn't centered or anything. Help me out. Okay. Word has it that the Logos chair, chair, chair has declared, declared this area safe, safe for prospecting. As long as you think so, Seems Jeff Bridges. Cut off. Word has been, been tagged a red site since that incident with the ACS. Yeah. Yeah. Just be clear the next story. I get the feeling that Laros is itching to expand the entire Icarus operation. <laughs> Can't think of anything else that would have opened this place back up. Uh, anyway. The UDA needs someone to survey new landing zones. Shut, shut up. Think you're up for it? Sure. Uh, at Amazon, I I uh, was working on a pitch for a game called The Next Martian, and it was the same concept where like, you get a bunch of clones on a ship full of thousands of clones, and you wake up, and you get your shot, and you have like two minutes to like hurry up and <laughs> grab stuff off the ship and get onto your pod and then launch down. And you can build upon the remainders of the things that the previous versions of you have left behind. So you can have a long-term, multi-person strategy. And I think that's kind of what they're doing here. So I'm, I'm excited to see if this is a game that I desperately wanted to make. Well, not desperately. Uh, I don't know. This, I assume this is a loading screen. <coughs> I'm not a whole lot of information going on here. Whenever something's spinning that I don't care about, I assume it's a loading screen. I'm super harsh when I play games. I'm already annoyed that I couldn't bypass the cutscene the first time I lived in this game. It's like breaking the first rule. Always let me bypass your cutscene. Oof, it's a loader. It's okay, those survival games are very deep, expensive, immersive worlds. I expect some load time. Jury the release, too, so like. I just expect that nothing's optimized, and that's okay. Expectations are super low. Not low enough to excuse some of the UX things they're doing, but like, it doesn't seem like a matter of time, just a matter of choice to do it. Uh, crappy rasterized textures. First screen. Nice though, get the vibe. Get the super danger vibe. Astroneer. Nice little window. Super cool. Ah, I'm immersed, I'm convinced. Oh, I'm just on that. Alright. Oh, it's so noisy. Your survey equipment was loaded onto your dropship. Make sure to grab it. Considering you're the first on site, they've tried to keep you away from the more risky areas. Allegedly. <laughs> I'd still be cautious if I were you. Never know what's lurking out there. So they have a stamina system, that energy bar. Don't forget your beacons. Can't transmit the data without them. 
Dead the energy bar in the middle of the screen. F is the interact. Before we switch that to E. Oh, this is hard to look at. This is so noisy. This is too much information. Oh, I don't like the... I'm not sure I like the choices they made for... To attain whatever look they're going for. I'm assuming it's like photorealism, but... Oh, and this, all this information... It's a lot. Ugh. So much stuff moving on the screen at all times. I have to look up just to like get a break from it. You know, detail is not the goal. It should never end up itself be the goal. What is the level of detail they've chosen serving? I don't know. Love to hear them talk about it. At a distance, so. Looks nice enough. <laughs> Unless you have a real eye for geodata, you're really gonna need those beacons. Alright, beacons. He's fishing about beacons. Uh, back beacons for dropship storage. Dropship storage. Alright, so you can basically just anywhere around the ship interact with the ship and you go into storage. Okay. Okay, time to find some lovely spots for landing a dropship. These in like a quick bar. Uh, uh, the UDA also requires you to clear the immediate area. Did I forget to mention that? Plays a map marker. Where's the map? Press M. Hey, what well, you know? Alright, cool. Okay, even the map has too much information. Too much information on it. Alright, now I'm gonna clear the area. Oh, I need to deal with the graphics situation. It's too much. Um. Motion blur. Maybe a little bit of motion blur would help out. Kind of lower quality, actually. Maybe the lower resolution. I don't know. Uh, textures. Medium. Lowering textures. Foliage. Medium. Anti aliasing. Medium, I guess. Uh, some of them won't be. Change until I get back. We start the game. Alright, this is cool. This is the content of the game for. I want to and expect to pick up lots of stuff. Everything you pick up feels like progress. That's something that will commonly come up when talking about all the, the banality of picking things up. <clears throat> for those who don't understand or like engage with it, like everything you pick up and everything you put down feels like progress. It's an action that comes with its own reward. Like a one-to-one -one mapping of action and reward. Oh, pumpkins! This is Earth-like. That's very specifically Earth-like. Yeah, I kind of feel like this supposed to be an alien world. I don't know what this is. That's a little too familiar. On the spectrum between familiar and alien. Now I feel like it's more like an arc. Like it's built for me by people from Earth. For Alright, so I'm collecting stuff, now I expect my inventory to be full of stuff. That's the map. Tab is the map? Oh no, tab is just like, you want all, all UI stuff. Okay. So tab brings that up and then you can toggle through. That's actually, that's cool. I like that. Uh, icons are kind of small on my screen. Not a big fan. Pumpkins. I'm expecting the right click to eat it. Uh, right click brings up the options. Consume it. Eating sound is too passive in its feedback. Alright, so yeah, get a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna assume that I can use all this stuff later. I'm already thinking that I probably want to build an axe. That seems useful. So this is you know, this is a good nux. You know, nothing to attack me. No bugs or anything. But they're kind. Oh, uh, so noisy. God, that's a lot of visual information on the screen. Oh, I'm really sensitive to that. That's crazy. Whoop, whoop. Something alive. 
it's exciting. Just the, oh, the bird? Yeah, the nausea, you know, um, even if it's a different species, that's, that's comforting in a Tom Hanks and, like, Wilson volleyball kind of way. Alright. So, let me see how I build an axe up. Let's go to crafting. Pickaxe, stone axe. I have plenty of everything. It's like two steps. I kind of want to, like, mouse over it and then click and build it. Oh, but you can build more than one. That's kind of handy. I like that convenience. Very generous. Alright, so I've got, an, I've got an axe, because I should have an axe. Nothing showed up in my inventory, though. Am I missing something? I'm going to put my right glasses on here. Did I not just build an axe? Nothing changed. What the where is the axe? Super confused. Uh, let me try that again. I'm crafting it. Oh god, this is a bummer. Oh, that's nice. I can show you all the things and then show you what's going to get filtered through crafting. Let me try building a pickaxe. Why is it not going into my inventory? Hold on, a theory is not updating. Nope. No, it's not, the screen's updating, it's not what it is. Dude, dude. What a bummer. Oh, it went into my quick item. Oh. It went automatically went into. Oh, uh, see how this, the quick, the hot bar is like so far away from the inventory. I wasn't even looking down here. Get that like, I think you have to have a better map than this of where people's eyes are, are at any point in what they're thinking about at the time. Okay, so that, that was not satisfying at all. So I got to make contact with it. The fall is good. It's a good, it's a good tell performance wise. Uh, they don't, eh. The splits are okay. I want a goddamn lumberjack simulator. I want the location where I'm attacking it to become the point of the fracture. Yeah, I'm hitting it here, it's gonna fall, it's gonna split below me and up a smoke location. Yeah. It's alright, it's just not like next level. And that sounds absurd, but this is the thing you're gonna do the most in a survival game. I should spend a lot of money on it to make it like deeper than this, more immersive than this. Whoa, the US jumbly. I think cutting that tree is very serious. I don't know what's going on with graphics, it's kind of nauseating. There's too much moving, too much visual information changing on screen for a second if I look too close. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Uh, it's hard to get over the basics. Alright, so, I made an axe. I cut some trees down. Looks like I can make a wood pile. That's nice. And given that it, the premise of this game, I don't expect to stay here for too long, so the early, the early dudes that you make, or uh, people that you make, are basically you, like, doing some laundry or planning for the next people that drop. That's my understanding. Like, you're getting ready, and you're, you're getting supplies for the next people that you are when you go back down. Or I guess, I guess the premise is that you go back after a certain amount of time. Yeah, mission time, where I got seconds, minutes, hours. Got a couple days here. I like the, the limit, you know, like to make the most of the time you have while you're here. Creates like a creates a, like a very passive or subtle pressure on me to make to optimize. It defines sessions for me. Alright, let's I have a pickaxe, let's try the pickaxe. I expect to be able to chip away a rock. Alright, they're cooling. We're doing mesh definition. It's a tracker. Other than the 
texture itself <laughs> and the values in it. Uh, it's attractive. The team feels really good. <laughs> This belief is everything for me in this kind of game. That would not be wasted dollars. Where I come from. This is just me as a consumer. It's just super picky. Champagne appetite, man. So many survival games out there. The capability of the world is like. Or selling, whatever, selling the world. Like, it doesn't matter what the rules of the world are, they can be anything. But they just have to really commit to them to sell them. Uh, that's pretty tedious. How much did I get? 100? That's a lot. So that's probably, that's already, by the standards of the game, that's probably a, a lot of stone. Oh, birds. A lot of large birds. I wonder if they're going to attack me. Very colorful birds. Alright, let's see what else I can craft here. I can craft a stone pile. Watch out. Okay, I a wood pile. I a stone pile. I don't know. I don't like, I don't really like the structure of having to do these things first, personally. I just want to. Leroy Jenkins on the end of the ride. What's that blue stuff? Oxite. Ooh, that can be turned into oxygen. Ah, that's how you extend your sessions. The more of this you can process, the more that you can, uh, the longer you can stay. It's great. It's a great resource. Good mechanic. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go be a dork and just pick a random direction and go because that's what I do. Every it's called exploring. Little something I like to call an exploration. Oh. Ah. That looks bad, but at least it's expansive. Look at all that over there. Those are probably trees when I get there, too. It's not all plains. That's not bad. But I used to have Oh, oh, that's a wolf. That looks wolfy. Yeah. Just outside the nuts here, there. Come get some. Yes, yeah, this, this is the part where we're gonna die. Some predator takes more apex than I am. Ooh, look at all this thing. Yeah, breathing for days. With all this oxide. Crystallized oxygen. There's no layer. The layer just like there, it's like that. Cool. So the game is pretty much like, dude, this is totally your starting home base area, so let me just build something. Which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of. I guess I don't have to, so it's fine. But like, how biased is a game against me branching out right now? Wow, I don't need a special tool to like, dig down. Uh, Alright, what are my vitals here? Uh, I'm even paying attention. Water. I'm gonna need water soon. Alright, what can my vehicle. I have to get down to my base Maslow's here and take care of some stuff. Wait. Did it just make more beacons for me? It made more beacons. I need water. The wolves are scary. That worked. Mission accomplished. The wolf scared me. That's 
down to me being used. I need water. I need to go to a low place for water. I'm gonna equip my axe because it's the only weapon I have at the moment. Well, if you want water, don't go up. I know that much. Good crazy, I haven't checked behind me, check my six. Alright, I'm sufficiently intimidated by what I don't know. What's out there? Hear noises? Could be me. This has a lot of smell the roses. I don't care about the broad horizon that's me, but right now I'm just really focused on local area. Especially all of the stuff I can't see. I hear more things than I see. That's important. The mountains look crappy. Sorry. Sorry mountain people. Whoever made the mountains. Alright. Oh, that's all? Oh, okay. This is too much detail. That looks like water. That's water down there. Oh, they may get a challenge just to get down the water. It's like a two days journey. Right, I'm gonna do it. Check me out. I'm going for it. I don't care what it means. You wanna live forever? Nope, just long enough to get water. Oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be possible. But this is already fun. It's what I like. Yeah, it's scary. It's super scary. I know water's low. Why do you think I'm climbing down this? your face to my inevitable death because water's left. Yeah. Shut up, game. That looks like I'll get stuck. Looks like I'm there. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck anyway. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna find it. Ah! Maybe this where I'm sorry. Wait, do I have berries? I have berries. I can assume these berries. How does food work? I'm healing fast, that's good. Ooh, coffee bean. This place is very earthlike. Hey, water, I might make it. Yeah, I know, I know water's low. Don't do it. Relax. So, this is where I go to drink water and some large animal kill me. I don't know. Overall, not impressed with the look of the game. The trailers have led me to believe that it would be more impressive. I'm writing this on a 3 series, uh, th 3080 should be enough muscle to do whatever they're trying to do. But I, I just think it's actually the quality so far. Alright. Now, I'm assuming I can bend down or just interact with the water. The bird. They're coming. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I thought I'm wearing a, only a giant pontoon. The drink. Cool. So they trace the material type. They know the water. Oh my god, giant lizard. Komodo dragon. Like a random selection of earthbound creatures. That seems like a nice place to build. And there's a wolf. Everyone, all these species just hanging out by the water. No big deal. Alright, I took care of my water problem. Oh, the old temperature gauge is getting cold. When I step into the light, it's getting warmer. No, it's still a little cold. I'm gonna have like, make a fire kind of problem soon. Um. Oh, I see. I have to spend my hunger. Fire whacker. Oh, it's here. Yeah, let's get the weapons track going, dude. Talents. This is a lot of information. It's like World of Warcraft level. Great dreams. At one point available. Uh, I gotta get more wood. That's kinda cool. I like the progression. It's good. It's consumable. Alright. Alright, cool, I can build a campfire. I'm uh, making progress here. I feel more confident with my abilities. Let's build a campfire. Craft? Build a friggin' knife, too. 
Do that up. Build a spear. Get it. Zero. It was right here. Actually, we have to have wood. Press the track. Does it just cook or can it keep you warm too? No, you have to find the cold away. Uh, I'm just gonna put wood in it. Oh, it suck. Why is this so hard? I should be able to press this and just give it wood. Start a fire. Is it a recipe for making a fire? Yeah. Without being that big. Oh, this. It's frustrating. I like the bacon pumpkin. Alright, I can get the fire going somehow. Wow, what's the big splashing? The big bacon splashes around me. A bear. Goddamn bear. Ah! I have no idea if I'm even hitting it. Worst melee ever. We're not pressed. And feedback is so bad. Mm -hmm. 